This is Google's most aggressive assault against the established mobile phone giants Apple and Samsung. And it's a head-on attack. We're including a Google Home Mini with each purchase of a Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL for a limited time. The Google Mini, also launched today, allows people to use their voice to control home appliances, play music and answer questions. You can ask it things as you would expect from Google. Um, you can help. It can help you manage your busy daily life. When it comes to recommended retail price, the most popular phones are close. Google's Pixel 2 starts at $1,079, about the same as Apple's iPhone 8. Samsung's Galaxy S8 is $120 more expensive at $1,199. So, the prices are similar. But what's the difference? The iPhone is aimed at the Apple user and has really got the cool factor. That Samsung has their Infinity Display, which is, you know, a dead set gorgeous device. Google's sort of trying to promote their software. The phone was launched with other products, a new Pixel Book, plus earphones Google called Pixel Buds that instantly awesome. translate. Hey, Isabel, how's it going? Hey, Isabel, how are you? Helt okay, thank Absolutely okay, thank you. It's incredibly helpful for practical use cases, for when you're travelling or um, you have a meeting with someone. Australia is one of six initial countries where the Google Pixel is available, but only through Telstra. Is this phone good enough to make somebody want to switch carriers? I'm not convinced of that. Pre-orders will start from October 20. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.